God started the formation of the world with a word. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God also said that as his children, if we got faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to mountains in our life and cause these mountains to move. I'm going to tell y'all something early this morning. All right, now. Y'all can sing when y'all want. Amen. Oh, it just got to be the song you like. Oh, Amen. 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 Then y'all say, oh, yeah, so you can sing that, brother. Now, we can sing. Don't think we can't sing. I'm going to remember these songs. I'm going to say, Terry, put them on repeat. <laughs> Won't be very long. Sanctified folks know how to sing about that. Amen. Amen. I want to talk a little bit this morning. First of all, I want to thank you all. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for the blessing. I got up this morning and last night too. And I was just talking out loud. Normally I don't talk about it out loud, but I was talking out loud. Look, I'm glad my wife don't think I'm crazy. Because I was talking out loud. I was just thanking God, really. Um, went to the closet last night trying to find out what I'm going to wear last night. I'm like, okay, what am I going to wear? <clears throat> and I looked at my closet, and then I went to look at my other closet. Then I went look to my other closet. Right. Right. Then I went look to my other closet. I got four closets. Oh, wow. God is good. Yes, he is. I am a black. I, you let me tell you something. I got enough clothes. Mm -hmm. If I was to shave this down a little bit, yeah. I can wear a different outfit for about 100 days straight. Amen. I got that many clothes. Amen. 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 God is good. The reason I bring that to you is because. Sometimes we forget about the blessings. Amen. Amen. Most of our time is spent on the closed doors mm -hmm. or the nose that God gives us. Amen. You know, we can go through life sometimes, especially young folks. And since this is our series where our young folks are talking directly to you all, but it's to us as a group. Because I remember as a young person, I couldn't stand my mom and my dad, my grandma and my granddad tell me no. Mm -hmm. No. And I really couldn't stand when they said, because I said so. Mm -hmm. Amen. What, you ain't going to give me an explanation? Nope. I just gave it to you. Yeah, right. Because I said so. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because as a, an adult that growing up, I began to thank people, and especially God, yes. for the closed doors I got. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we might not know what's going on, but God does. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why this lesson is entitled Closing the wrong doors at the right time. Amen. Because, see, we always think it's the wrong door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we want what we want, and God, God don't give it to us sometimes, we think it's just, well, you know what? Oh, I don't know. It must be something I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a door that God closed off for you because you don't know what you're really asking for. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me show you what I mean by way of my lesson. Proverbs 16, 9. Thank you, Brother Prince. We got it up here again. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his step. Sometimes in your life, people are going to think you crazy. Amen. Amen. I know because they think I'm crazy sometimes. Amen. My steps are not directed by man. Amen. Man have plans for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a plan for me. Mm -hmm. But my steps, mm -hmm. they belong to God. Amen. What I do, what I be a part of, what you do, what you be a part of, all of that belongs to God. Amen. Listen to me, children, when I tell you. Satan is sneaking. Mm -hmm. You can be at the basketball game, stand up there waiting on your popcorn. <laughs> you look out there and see the score, while well, our team is beating them to death. Ain't no sense of me standing around here. Your best friend, the Satan, look out. This game gonna be over. Let's go somewhere else. You told mom and dad you're gonna be at the game. I'm going to get back here before mom and daddy get back here. Let me tell you something. You may have plans to get back. But right. your plans don't mean nothing to God. Amen. He directs your step. You get out there and mom and daddy sit out there waiting on you to come in. You will come back in. You mad at them because they don't know where you are. And then you get mad at them again when they find you and they fussing at you. You may have plans. But you had better let God direct your step. Amen. First John 3, 20 said, The Lord is greater than a man's heart, but I want it then. Oh, my heart is so broken. You know puppy love. Everybody in here has been guilty of puppy, puppy love. <laughs> we had more than one puppy love. Some of us were fortunate. Our first puppy love was our love for life. Amen. 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 Some of us had more puppies. Hey. You know? Amen. 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 
<laughs> Little heart get broken up. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Listen here, Charon. Listen. Hmm. God is great, greater than your little broken heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jimmy might not like you now. <laughs> but he will when the Lord get finished with you. Amen. 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 Let the Lord direct you. Don't worry about nothing else. Everything ain't going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3 and 8 says, I know all the things you do. Mm -hmm. I have opened a door for you that no one can close. All right now. You have little strength. Mm -hmm. But you obeyed my word mm -hmm. and did not deny me. Because of it, mm -hmm. there's nothing you can't ask him for. That right. you don't get. All right. But you gotta let him direct your step and obey his word. Have you ever gone to a store and you're trying to go in the store and you lean against and you push the door and it don't come open? Mm -hmm. And then you step back and look back and the word go pull. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the first thing you do? Mm, look around. Did <laughs> <laughs> anybody see me? Uh -huh. Amen. People use the idea of an open door all the time when they refer to moments of victory in their life. You know, got a new car. God opened this door for me. Get a new house. Oh, God opened this door for me. Get a new boyfriend. God opened this door, this door for me. A year later, I got this boy from hell. Close the door. <laughs> us enough to stop the thing that we want in our life that's going to harm us. Amen. He closes doors sometimes. Amen. Amen. Thank he allows you. circumstances and situations to come together for the good. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. But what about all the heartbreak? What about the no's that he gives us from time to time? We owe God more than being stubborn and tight-lifted when he intercedes in our life. Amen. Sometimes he intercedes in our life and he tells us no. Mm -hmm. And all we do is pout. That's true. I've been praying and praying and praying and praying. Mm -hmm. I thought God told you no. Mm -hmm. I'm praying he changed his mind. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. So wait a minute, let me, let, 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 let me get this straight. You say you trust God mm -hmm. to direct your step. Mm -hmm. But he tell you no. And you're going to continue to pray to him for a yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be you when you open that door. Amen. Oh, you keep praying. He'll open it for you. I promise you, you'll be praying that he closes it later. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. Amen. Here's a story. I can give it to you this way by way of a story. First of all, I want you to know that there's power in closed doors, too. Mm -hmm. Just like when God opened the door for him, we give him credit. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. That's power. Here's a story. There was a barbaric king who lived a long time ago who decided a criminal's fate by allowing them to choose one door or the other. One door promised new life. The other door, instant death. Here are the rules. The prisoner had a 50-50 shot to live or die. So as he entered the arena, two doors awaited him that looked exactly the same. The only catch was that on the other side, on one side of the door, there was a beautiful woman. He was going to live in Live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. On the other side was a very hungry tiger. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we treat God like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh Lord, if I open this door, whoo, thank you, Lord. You open the door with a beautiful woman, and thank you, Lord. <laughs> you open the door with a tiger, and Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? Yeah. Man. We see God's involved in our lives like this, and we choose what the door we want. The, 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 the reward that we want, we say God was there. Mm -hmm. But when we choose those other doors that we keep wanting, when we open it up, we say, Lord, but you fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. We don't be talking about having mercy either. What word is going to come out of your mouth when you're running from a hunger tiger? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? God is not like that king. God is like, not like that barbaric king. Because first of all, God knows what's on the side of both sides of the door. Amen. Amen. Second of all, he is not going to let you open the door where the tiger is. All right now. He directs your step. How? If I 
am a Christian. No, no, no. When I am a Christian, I can heal God. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. This means standing up there. I wouldn't care how many doors you had. Me and God got this. Right. I'm not going to be going any, many, and mighty more either. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, what is that crazy person doing? He's waiting mm -hmm. on the Lord to talk to him. Mm -hmm. I'll wait till the sundown if the Lord don't talk to me. Amen. They'll have to choose a door for me. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's not the rule. I choose the door. Right. I'm going to stand there to the Lord and go forth, Stanley. <laughs> Open that one. Amen. And I'm going to walk through it just like I know what's on the other side. Amen. 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 We can't keep treating God like he that came. Amen. Right. Like when we choose something and it's bad, mm -hmm. we want to take God where, well, you know, huh, well, you know, Lord, I understand. Maybe I wasn't clear. <laughs> no, you were clear. He didn't want to give it to me, but you kept on. Mm -hmm. You kept on. The Lord's going to give you what you asked for mm -hmm. as long as you were in him. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Even if it means the bad stuff, Amen. if you keep asking. Amen. Amen. That's how we are sometimes at church. We're in school. Our, church, our parents tell us, nope. Can I go to the game? Nope. Why? I've been to the game before. I heard about some shooting over there last time. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing the shooting. Nope. You can't go. Amen. No, you weren't doing the shooting, but somebody else was doing the shooting. They weren't careful about who they were shooting at either. Mm -hmm. Mom and daddy go to sleep. I'm going over there for halftime. Mm. Then mom and daddy get awakened to a whole lot of flashing lights. Mm. Your baby was over there at the game and the uh, fight broke out. They took him to the hospital. Not, not, not my baby. My baby and then the boy and gone to the mm. game. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. You wonder why mom and daddy said no sometimes. I tell when my daughter was coming up, a lot of time I told her, I said I wasn't going to say that. I was like, I ain't going to do like mom and grandma and granddad did me. I said so. Tell her why. A whole lot of time I ain't had nothing to tell her about because I said so. And that's true. That's true. I found myself doing the same thing for me because I said so. Said so. Well, that's it. Well, I don't understand. A little while later, the Lord was able to show her why. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why. All I know is the Lord said, don't let her go. That's right. That's right. Don't let her go. She mad at me. You know how children get mad at you. Some of y'all weak parents. Y'all weak. Y'all can't even stand for the baby to be mad at you more than a day. Have them a little powder. Come on, baby, get you something to eat. I ain't hungry. Come on, baby. Oh, daddy, sorry for what he's doing. I don't want to talk. That's okay. You gotta go down there, go in the kitchen, fix your plate yourself. Sit down and eat. Amen. I promise you, they're gonna come find some food when they get home. That's right. Amen. 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 True. They're gonna find something to eat, and you're gonna still have your dignity back. I told you, you know what I meant, though. No. Amen. 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 Sometimes the doors that are shut are for your good, people. Amen. Instead of worrying about the moments uh, that God stopped you from doing things, how about trusting Him to close the door that you don't want to open in the first place? Hello? Some things are not as good to us as we think. Mm -hmm. You don't believe? You've been down to cake and cookie aisle? Mm -hmm. yes. Well, they got some chocolate chip cookies in there with some M&Ms in them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Just looking at that, you be like, ooh, that is really good right there. Well, my experience is that they look that real good, they ain't that good. I go right back to the original. <laughs> <laughs> I said it and said it to you. Everything that look good to you Amen. ain't good for you. Amen. Mess around and have a parent that, 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 that does this to you. I want you to go have a fit by stuff you can't get. I don't want it. I just got to have it. I want to hide. I want that sweater. It's so hard. Miss Brown, get you that sweater you'll be wearing about eight days in a row before you take it off. Where? <laughs> put it back on. Amen. I had it on three days. I watched it last night. Put it back on. Amen. I'm tired of wearing this sweater. You loved it eight days ago. Amen. 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 But be careful now. You you some parents out there like that. You, Amen. You mess around and let them have it. Call the light bill folks and say, look, I'm going to put this off a couple of weeks. I, 
I got to get these shoes that boy really, really <laughs> like. <laughs> Every time you come in, put them shoes on. I wore them yesterday, put them back on and wear them. You'll need some more shoes in about a month. They'll make you wear them out. <laughs> it's that way with God. You keep asking. In the words of my mama, you'll give it to you till you gouged out on it. You won't want it no more. Amen. You'll be like, I don't even. My partner down there in Louisiana, his dad has died, has died since, but when he was living, I hesitate to tell him when I like watermelon. I told him one time he came and visited with his son. I said, I love watermelon. I love watermelon. He be bringing down there from where you all are. That's some good watermelon. Who we? Every time he went down and came home, daddy sent you watermelon. Mm -hmm. Daddy sent you these two watermelon. Mm -hmm. Daddy said, Tell your dad I got enough watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> now you started, now I told you. He did that. Ooh, I was so happy that crop didn't do wood good that day. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to call you? See him, they're going to ask you, How you like that watermelon? Mm -hmm. I said, What? But you don't say, I didn't eat it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I was glad. He said, Hey, man, bad crop to you. I said, You didn't go out there and do something to him for me, did you? <laughs> I'm talking to my partner. He said, Boy, I know you got tired of them watermelons. I got tired of Brown bringing them up here for you. <laughs> I said, How come you wouldn't never have no watermelon? Because I eat enough when I'm down there with it. Mm -hmm. As long as I can remember, I've heard the phrase, When one door open, or when one door closed, God opened another. Mm -hmm. A friend once told me, Until God opens another door, it's H E double hockey stick in the hallway. Okay. When I look back on my life, I realize. It was in the hallway where I had the best conversation with the Lord. Yeah, I, I, I've been in the hall waiting on God to open the door for me. We all have. Amen. We've all been in the hallway waiting on God to open the door so we can talk to him about what's going on with us. And sometimes we miss God talking to us in the hallway. Yeah. God is where your hurt is. Man. He ain't on the other side of the door. He does his best work while you're in pain. Y'all ain't hear you preach. Let me Amen. put it to you, Let me put it to you uh, 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 another way. It's not, no, it's not a coincidence that when people are having trouble in their life, they say, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Because he's been shown to be the most consistent right. in having the problem that they have. That's true. That's true. Who are you going to call when you have a spiritual problem in your life? You're going to call the spiritual doctor. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to call when you're having a physical pain in your body? You're going to call your physical doctor mm -hmm. right after you call yes. your spiritual doctor. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't hearing me yet. Mm -hmm. You go to the dentist. You expect the dentist to do what he's supposed to be doing in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. I promise you, you prayed before you got in that seat. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, you better start. <laughs> Hello? Because we know that whatever's happening in the hand of man mm -hmm. on us is directed All right. by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you hear Christian pray, Lord, please bless, bless this preacher to know, bless this doctor to know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Lord, please guide his hand. Mm -hmm. Because we know mm -hmm. who's doing the directing here. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if we know these things, <coughs> Excuse me. If we know these things, then why is it that we're so upset when he closes the door that we think we won't? Mm -hmm. If we trust him and we know he knows what he's doing, why are we so upset when he closes the door? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Brother Stanley? I know there's a lot of people in our life we've been trying to pray away. <laughs> Let me look up when I say it because I was looking down. I know I'm talking to my camera. I know there's a lot of people in our lives that we've been trying to pray away. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, we've been trying to, oh, Lord, Amen. please take these people. Amen. I just don't want to deal with them, Lord. Don't let Amen. me have to pass that way, Lord. Amen. 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 We know. I know. I already know. And then when God closed that door and said, well, you ain't got to go that way, bam. We had the audacity sometimes to start missing the trouble that we asked God to close out, close the door against. Mm -hmm. I don't hear you preaching. You, you, right. you, right. you, right. you, right. you don't hear me yet. You don't hear me yet. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. When you ask God to come in your house, straighten your house up, mm -hmm. sit down. Mm 
Amen. You ask him to come into your house and straighten up your business. Sit down. Why are you trying to tell the Lord what to do in your house? Mm. If you know how to clean up your mess, when the Lord got there, he didn't have to do nothing but sit down. Amen. Right. Amen. Let him clean your mess up. Sit down and stop inviting yourself. Lord, go on now. He, he came over here and cleaned up the house, child. I don't know when you're going to eat. Come on back now. You Trouble coming on back in there soon, Lord Lee. You better be careful what you're asking for. Amen. Children, I want to be like the popular people in school. I want to be like so-and-so. Be careful what you're asking for. Amen. Lord, I give you fame without the Lord is real, real, real hard to handle. It sure is. Just look at some of your professional players right now. They got fame. You'll never hear them talk about the Lord in any conversation, in any camera they push in their face. You never hear them mention the Lord. Amen. But you can see the Trouble. troubles all through their career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got millions of dollars. They're going to pay the lawyers to get out of trouble. Mm -hmm. When it's all said and done, they're going to be broke like you. Mm -hmm. Boy, you had $15 million, and now you $1,500 in the hole. Mm -hmm. What happened? I went there without the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's the only thing that happened. People tell me all the time, people get, these young folks, they get all these million dollars too quick, they don't know how to handle it. Amen. They ain't got no business to handle it. Mm -hmm. When they get it, they need to let the Lord handle it. Amen. See, the Lord will tell them, let me go talk to somebody about this, because this is somewhere I ain't, I've never been. Amen. You can't handle being a millionaire if you've never been a millionaire. Amen. Amen. Some of the things that we get stopped from doing in our lives, especially our children in school, you can't handle doing it mm -hmm. because you've never done it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang out with my partner all day, all night. After graduation, man, we're going to hang out. We're going to go clubbing, and we're going to do the do. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was like that once. Y'all know anything about white lightning? Yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 see a young preacher with some hair on his head? Never had anything drink. I'm gonna give me some white lightning hanging out with the boys. That's cause that's what they do. And this graduation night, they gave me a longer time to hang out tonight. I'm gonna make it make good on this long time to hang out. I was drunk as dinner. <laughs> Cooler Brown. <laughs> Offer of some white lightning I've never tried in my life. Amen. Amen. That preacher got drunk. Now that young 16-year-old got drunk. Amen. And he was kissing the commode the next morning. <laughs> and hugging it too. <laughs> Amen. 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 You don't have no sense behind that. Something wrong with you. Lord, I want to go hang out with my friend. They don't never let me do nothing. Mama, can I go? Daddy, can I go? Mama, can I go? Daddy, can I go? They kept saying no. Kept saying no. Kept saying no. That's why they said, let him go. Let him go. What time you supposed to be back? I can't be back at that type of hour. They, they going to be doing this afterwards. What time are they going to be finished? Well, at least 12 o'clock. Be here at 12 o'clock. If you was 10, that would gave me two extra hours. Mm -hmm. Boy, I was chopping and hot. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Went right on out there and did something I ain't never done before. And on top of that, guess what? I had a little cold. Was taking medication the same night. Mm. Boy, I was taking some antibiotics. Mm. Got no sense. Oh, my partner's telling me, oh, boy, that'll kill that little stuff. <laughs> yeah. This can't do nothing but help you. <laughs> it's gonna run everything. You sick? When you finish with this, you won't be sick. <laughs> oh, that's what they would tell him. You know, my head would feel like, I ain't gonna be sick. I'm gonna go home and feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. How'd that work out? I told y'all that one before my granddad looked down and told me, so you better get up before your grandma, before your grandma get in there. Mm -hmm. He already knew it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Hello? Kept trying to tell you, them boys gonna get you in trouble. Man. The boy gonna get you in trouble. You don't need to do that. Closing the wrong doors to me, but at the right time, I needed them to tell, keep telling me no. Mm -hmm. Young folk, I know between the ages of 12 and 17, your parents ain't got no sin. They ain't gonna sit down on nothing. They old time, they're behind time, they slow. 
They don't know the site that they don't know the lingo that you all speak. They don't know nothing about what's happening. We already know. We like that. We we're comfortable in how we live. We don't know nothing. <laughs> right? Why you run to when you get in trouble then? Amen. Amen. Why you run to when you get caught? We know everything then, don't we? Mm. Hello? Stop oh. fooling yourself. Amen. When we say no, it ain't because we want to hurt you. Amen. We say no because we love you. Amen. Amen. God say no in our life because he loves us. Amen. Not because he don't want to give us everything we ask. He said no because he loves us. Yes, he Same does. thing with our young folk. I'm going to tell you no when it feel like it's, I feel like it's going to hurt you. If the Lord has directed me to tell you no, as a parent, we're going to tell you no. And I already know we're going to be everything but daddy <coughs> and mom. I already know. Right? But when you finish, God's going to open that last door for you. Amen. It's called the door of understanding. All right. And when you open that door, he'll reveal to you why he had to say no so many other times. Amen. I hope I said something this morning to prick your heart this morning. I hope I have. I hope you've heard what I had to say as it relates to making choices and closed doors and saying no to you sometimes. Therefore, our benefits. Yes. If I said something to prick your heart, if you've done something in the past week that you know you need to get yourself back right for, you need to come by way of hearing God's word, repenting, confessing your fault one to another, and being baptized. Mm -hmm. Believe it, of course. You gotta be believing. You ain't gonna go past. You ain't gonna go to repentance if you don't believe. Mm -hmm. And be buried in liquid grave water baptism. Come up a new Christian if you have not been baptized. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me one time, said, I want to come to y'all church, but they say, you got to be baptized all over again. You've been baptized, you don't have to be baptized again up in here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Been baptized, you've been almost drowned once? <laughs> oh, so you want me to drown you? <laughs> one wash is not good enough for you? I'm not as strong as lad preacher that put you in the water. <laughs> Mess around and stay a few seconds longer than you want to stay. Stop it, preacher. Hey, man, he's crowning folks down. I don't want to be baptized by him. Yeah. I got some big strong men up here. They'll baptize you. Yeah. Yeah. If that people, but now listen to me. If you want to be baptized again, we'll baptize you. Amen. Yes, Lord, we'll baptize. I had somebody tell me one time we was at Chelsea. Said sometimes I feel like I need to get baptized every month. I said, You need to stop sinning. <laughs> You sin so bad that you feel like you got to be washed every month? My Lord! My next question was, are you married? She said, yes, yeah. the Lord, I'm praying for your husband right now. Wow. Amen, I was serious. Y'all looking at me crazy. Y'all married to a husband that need to be baptized every month. Y'all gonna drag him in here Amen. in front of me. Talk to him, tell him he ain't gotta be, he just needs to stop sinning. Amen. 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 I hope I said something to prick your heart this morning. If I have done so, come. Right together we stand and sing our selected song of invitation.